you bet your butt that once I start getting low on these, I am repurchasing them. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be recapping a whole month of using all of the new Drunk Elephant hair and body products. I did do an original video of doing like a first impression kind of review on how I used it and all of that stuff. And I'll have that video linked down below and in the cards for you guys. But it has been a full month of using all these products and I'm going to be going over the pros and cons, what my thoughts are, any kind of notes that I've written down about these products that I feel like I should share with you guys. But first off, I want to say my hair feels amazing. My body feels amazing. I haven't had dry elbows this whole entire month. On my arms, I get like little bumpies and I haven't had any bumpies this whole month. So let's get into this quick little thing. I'm going to go through like the order of how I would use everything. So with the first product, this is the TLC Happy Scalp Scrub with 10% AHA, BHA blend, plant oils, pH balance of 3.7. I love this thing. I cannot say anything negative about this. I love the applicator. It hasn't really gotten dirty at all. Um, it spreads really nicely through my hair. It rinses out really nicely. Separate your hair. I haven't had any kind of like, I do get dry hair. Once it gets like oily, it does get the little, um, what is it called? <laughs> like dry flakes in my hair. But as you guys can see, I washed my hair a few days ago and I don't have any of those little white dandruffy spots in my hair. This has been amazing. I didn't use it every single time that I took a shower and washed my hair. I tried to use it every other time, but honestly, you could probably use this every single time that you wash your hair. But uh, the one thing I do wanna say is it does kind of tingle sometimes, which is kind of interesting. So it does have that physical and chemical exfoliation to it. So if you're used to the baby facial, that kind of like tingling on your face, it does have a little bit of like a tingling through your scalp. So if you don't like the tingling or if you are a little bit more sensitive, I would try and do a test with this to see if you're sensitive to it or not. But I love this and I'm going to be repurchasing this whenever I run out of this and I'm never gonna let this leave my collection. So after I use that, I go in the shower, rinse it all out and I follow up with the Kokomo Glossing Shampoo. Now I don't really, I have a few negatives with this. Now this is a very liquidy consistency, which helps and doesn't help at the same time. I found that the best way for me to use this is to use it in small doses. So like putting a little bit in my hand, kind of working over on this section, put a little bit in my hand, work over here. And because if I put a bunch in my hand and then try and like, it's really liquidy. It's kind of like having water in your hand and try and like maneuver it. I find that it just slips out of my hand and I feel like I'm wasting it. So depending on how you like your consistency or whatever, it is really nice to have it thin, but at the same time, it's like, mm, I don't want to waste it. And it does take a little bit of time to go back and forth it does lather really nicely and the best thing about the lathering process is that it lathers really nicely but the best thing about it i don't know if you guys have this but this sometimes happens to me i don't really have a very tangly hair type my hair doesn't tangle that easily uh, but sometimes if I use a certain shampoo, I find that it gets my hair so dry when I'm rubbing the shampoo in that whenever I rinse my hair out, I'm like having knots in my hair and I'm like, I cannot wait to put conditioner in my hair. This is like so gross. If you guys know the feeling, this one does not do that. It doesn't make my hair tingly. It doesn't make my hair dry. It cleanses my hair without really stripping it. And as far as my hair color, I did put a toner on my hair. My hair is lightened. Uh, my natural hair color is kind of like a dirty blonde, uh, but this is all previously lightened and I did have just a toner over it. It hasn't been making my hair really bra brassy, brassy, <laughs> really brassy. Um, and there's a little bit of toner still left in my hair that I can see, but 
for the most part, it did help with my toner. Toner doesn't really last all that long because it's not permanent. So it's not intended to last all that long, but I did apply the toner a couple weeks before I got the drunk elephant stuff. So it fit right along the time frame of how long a sh toner should last. So not disappointed by it at all. Next thing is the Kokomo, Coco Mino Marula Cream Conditioner. This one I, hmm, I don't, so I initially, I love the smell of everything. So let me put that out there. The smell of this whole line is absolutely delicious. I love it. But my biggest problem with this one is I'm really having to like shake it to get it to the bottom it, um, when I'm in the shower. Like I wish they would have kind of reversed the packaging and uh, kind of made it to where the squeezy tube was at the bottom um, just because it is a bit of a thicker consistency. Through using this, I don't really find this to be like insanely conditioning, um, though I do think this is a very versatile conditioner. It's not the best conditioner that I've used, but with being a hairdresser, I could really tell like with the consistency that this could go through a wide variety of different hair textures and hair types because it isn't too heavy, it isn't too nourishing, it's not gonna weigh down fine hair, it's not gonna uh, be greasy and very thick textured hair. So I do think if you're looking for a good everyday conditioner, this one's good, but I'm not gonna say that this is like super nourishing or anything like that. I do think that it does help to balance your hair. So if you do have like oily, dry, like all kinds of different things going on with your hair as you go through the hair strand. Um, I do think that this shampoo and conditioner mix does help to just level your hair out. But my biggest little nitpicky thing is definitely the consistency because it feels like it's gonna be like a hair mask. It's like super thick, like a cream. And then you put it in your hair and you rinse it out and you're kind of just like, okay, like my hair's soft, but it's not like I just rinse out a hair mask. But I don't really think that this is really intended to do that. So I'm not gonna judge it too harshly by that. But the other thing is it gets kind of annoying to sit in the shower and be like, is that the bottom yet? <laughs> and you're not gonna notice that until about the third or fourth time that you've used it, just as a little disclaimer. So after I have the conditioner in my hair, I kind of let it sit in there for at least like five minutes. So then I'm gonna go in with the, I don't know how to say this, Camille, Camille? Uh, Cream Body Cleanser. This works best on like a loofah or a washcloth. It doesn't work that well just putting it in your hands and it does lather, but it is a little bit of a thicker gel consistency. So it does, it does lather better when you have like another thing other than your hand to kind of help to spread the product around. It makes your body smell amazing. It really cleanses your skin without feeling tight and dry after you get out of the shower. And the other thing that I wanted to say about this is for your downstairs area, um, if you happen to get this in the wrong spot downstairs, it does sting a little bit. We've all been there at one point. Just wanted to put that out there. It's nice for there, but you do have to be a little careful. It does sting. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other thing that I want to say about this is that it rinses off really quick and easy. So the body wash that I was using beforehand was one by Dove that I was trying to kind of like project pan it and I was really trying to use it. And for some reason that body cleanser just, it like sticks to my skin and like there has been times that I've gotten out of the shower and there's like a there's like soap still on me and I've tried and like wipe it off, rinse it off and it just kind of like clings to my skin and it feels like 
a layer on my skin this one does not do that and it was really refreshing to use this and i was just like oh my gosh it's coming right off i don't have to scrub it off of my body like mm. so then after i get out of the shower i put my hair in a towel I'm gonna put my hair up let it dry a little bit and then i take the silly body lotion this one has around the same problem as the conditioner, the more I start using this, the more I'm recognizing it, that you gotta tap it to the bottom. But this is my favorite body lotion. I have always, since I was little, been really picky about lotion because I don't like the feeling of lotion on my body. I don't like feeling sticky. I don't like um, really thick feeling on my skin. It, I'm just really picky with lotions. A lot of the lotions, I don't like the smell of them. They smell like too much like little kids or they smell like an old lady or like a flower and I just don't like it. And it's hard to find really good body lotions that aren't super, super thick, that aren't scented. <laughs> so this one, I love the smell of this. I don't know, I cannot picture, I cannot tell you the smell of what this is. I'm gonna put a little bit on. Uh, a little bit goes a long way with this. Like this little bit is gonna go all the way down my arm. It's so nice and it absorbs really, really fast. It doesn't feel like there's lotion on your body. I know I'm so weird about that. Some people love the feeling of like really thick lotions. Um, but for some reason on my body, I do not like that feeling. It soaks up instantly. It doesn't leave you like sticky. It makes you feel very soft. It makes you feel like your skin is always soft and hydrated, which is why I love it. And the smell of it is so good. <laughs> so after I moisturize my whole body, I'll take the Drunk Elephant Sweet Pity Deodorant Cream and I'll finish off my armpits with this. And for this one, I really like this deodorant. The other deodorant that is clean that I like is the Kopari Coconut Oil deodorant. And this one is getting pretty close to replacing my Kopari one, which is a shock to me. This one actually lasts a pretty long time, which uh, you can't really find a lot with with clean deodorants. They will protect you with the smell, but only for a certain amount of time. So with this one, I find that it'll last me about two to three days from applying it, which is crazy. And depending on what you're doing. So if I put it on and I go and take the dogs on a walk and I'm working out in the yard, then I'll put it on again before I go to bed. But as far as like this whole quarantine thing is going, this deodorant is lasting me like four days because we're not really going outside. We're not sweating or doing anything. And my pits smell good for four days with the clean deodorant. It doesn't irritate my underarms at all. Um, there's no like darkness going on on my underarms. The, there is some cons to this though. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but uh, I would advise to clean this off after you use it because whatever this is um, that the deodorant is made out of, it does kind of like, oh, what is it called? Dry up on the outer part of where the deodorant comes out of. So I would, if you could like wipe it all off. <laughs> before you let it kind of dry because it does get a little weird and crusty on the ends. And this applicator is a little strange. What I find is this square plastic doesn't glide on your underarm as well as you would like it to if you're not like sweaty or just got out of the shower and you're like still a little damp from the shower. Um, so what I've been doing is like, rolling it up and kind of just using my fingers. I know that's a really strange thing, but this is like a moisturizer consistency. So it's not <laughs> super weird. 
<laughs> I'm trying not to make this re really weird, but I mean, it pretty much dissolves in my fingertips. It smells amazing. I love smelling like this, by the way. Like this whole smell of this line is just mm, amazing. So that those are the two things I will say with this is that if you aren't a little damp underneath your arms, uh, this doesn't spread the best. Uh, with this applicator but the other thing is I love that this has like a little so you like turn it and it comes out but you can also suck it back down which is fantastic if you ever had one of those deodorants where you got way too much and then you're like trying to scrape it off and use it been there it's not very fun <laughs> last thing is my whole shower routine. I'll take off my towel after I've moisturized and put on deodorant and everything and I'll take the Wild Marula Tangle Spray and this one is amazing. I did use the Drunk Elephant Hot Toddy Heat Protection Protectant Spray. I think it's Hot Toddy but I did use that one. This one I do feel like it does add more hydration and detangling property to my hair while well, as a hot toddy I feel more secure with the heat protection aspect of it. This one I still can't find um, the, the degree of heat protection that it has. It says it has heat protection but it doesn't say like protected up to 450 degrees or 350 or whatever so uh, I'm not really relying on this for heat protection just because I don't know to what degree it is but I basically take it and I flip all of my hair to one side and I'll spray like underneath on top and I'll do the same to this side and go underneath on top and then I'll just kind of run my fingers through my hair and I'll take my wet brush and brush through all of my hair and then I'm done with my whole shower routine. Now, I love everything that Drunk Elephant has come out with, with this whole line. I think they really nailed it. I think they made it very clean, easy. They formulated everything without all of their no-nos and it still works effectively. And I do think that this would be a good line for just about anybody. So if you want, something from this line it's not like oh this is really good for just fine hair or this is really good for really thick hair or this is good for oily scalps or dry scalps i really do think this whole line is really good for everyone and because it's good for everyone it's not like super hydrating or super detoxifying or super this it's just very just like evening out what's going on with your hair. So if you do have an oily scalp, it will help with making your scalp less oily. If you do have really dry ends, it will help to level those those out. So that's why I really like this and I'm definitely keeping this in my in my shower at all times. All of these products are going to be in my bathroom at all times. Now, last thing, with using this whole line, things that I feel like I could personally use in addition to this from Drunk Elephant would be a body scrub. There are certain parts like my elbows, the back of my arms, my knees, and strangely enough, my shins do get a little bit crusty. And I would love a really good body scrub like this one. Um, this one's for your hair, but I would like a good kind of like all over physical and chemical body exfoliator. I think that would be really awesome for Drunk Elephant to come out with. And then also a hair mask, maybe like two different hair masks would be really beneficial to this whole line in my opinion. Like maybe one that's like super hydrating or maybe one that's um, good for fine hair, thick hair. I think even though that's not part of Drunk Elephant's world, how do you say it? Their uh, beliefs, because with their skincare, their skincare is for all ages, all skin types, everyone. So I think they really did that same approach with this hair care line. Though I would love to see a really nice hair mask from them, body scrub, and I think a clean 
dry shampoo would also be another great thing that they could add on to this whole line. And I feel like that would kind of fill in my little holes of my shower routine, but let me know if you guys have any questions about the Drunk Elephant stuff. I give it two thumbs up. For me, my hair gives it two thumbs up. I am going to continue to repurchase these. That's how much I like them, though I will say I don't think I put a big enough dent in anything to repurchase it. Uh, I don't really shower, or I don't shower, I don't wash my hair every single day, so it it's going to take me a little while to go through all of these. You betcha, but then once I start getting low on these, I am repurchasing them. But that is it for this one month update with this Drunk Elephant product. If you guys haven't seen my initial video review and I kind of demoed all the products for you guys, but if you guys haven't seen that video, I'll have it right over here for you guys. This video will be suggested to you by YouTube and my face will be right here where you click on it and subscribe to my channel.